Hey guys, I'm John with Dara Holsters. Just going to be going over real quick a demonstration on how to install our ram mounted vehicle holster and our ram mounted tough claw holster. All right, here we are, guys. Just get a little closer view. Um, the tools that we're going to need to get this going, real simple, just a quarter inch drill bit. Um, on my vehicle, I'm going to need a 5 16 inch drill bit as well because uh, the panel I'm going to be mounting it to has a honeycomb structure, so I'm going to need to drill both sides of it. Um, a regular Phillips head screwdriver and that's going to be about it. The tools that you're going to need to remove the panel that you're installing it to is going to differ upon your vehicle so you know um, we're not going to be showing how to disassemble your vehicle depending on where you want to put it and, and the type of vehicle you have that's going to be on you. Um, so we're just going to break this panel down real quick. I've already got a ram mount installed, so we went ahead and got a whole new panel. I'm going to set this one aside here. That's another thing. Don't be afraid to drill into it. You can get new panels. I got a different color. It doesn't match here, but, uh, you know, that's all right. I'm not keeping this one. I like my other one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing here. See what we've got inside the package. Um, you've got your standard ram mounted holster here. Um, go ahead, grab your firearm, fit test it. Make sure you're happy with it before you start drilling into your car. Make sure that it's everything you want. Um, real quick, while we're here, uh, the retention's adjustable. So, you know, start with quarter inch turns on your retention screws down here. The two Phillips head screws, depending on your holster, might have three or one, uh, depending on the size of your firearm. But, you know, just, just make sure you've got it set up to where you like the retention of it. Um, <clears throat> that's about it. So we're going to set that down, go back into the box here. We're going to look at the hardware kit that it comes with. Now inside here, we've got a backing plate, depending on the rigidity of the panel that you're attaching it to. Um, we've, we've provided this for you to make it a little, a uh, little more sturdy if you're attaching it to a real thin piece of plastic. So, you know, this is available in here. I'm not going to be using it because like I said, the honeycomb style structure we've got to the panel this won't uh, won't actually apply so but the pan head screws that we uh, that we send out to you they're more than adequate if you've got a solid piece of plastic that you're attaching it to so you know that's that's all we're gonna use today and it's really all you need um, this is just a little added bonus there so let's uh let's go ahead and get started all right guys we're in the driver's side now we're gonna take our holster with firearm in it make sure it's unloaded clear um, we're going to go ahead and pick a spot that we want, spend some time, find the right spot. Once you put it in, you know, you're going to have to order a new panel to get it to get it to move. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get it where we want it. Once you find the right spot, go ahead and make a mark with a pencil top and the side or the top and the bottom. Then we can go ahead, hop out, remove the uh, the base. This is all you're going to need at this point. So just separate the hardware from the base. Go ahead, get down in it. Match it up. Uh, for mine, I'm going to go ahead and remove the panel again. So I've got a little better access to it. Going to match it up to my pencil marks. I'm going to make a little harder line so I know exactly where I need to put it. Okay. Grab yourself a Sharpie or a center punch if you've got one. Go ahead and mark your four holes. And it's as simple as that. All right, guys, we've got our four holes marked. And we're going to go ahead and, and just run four holes through it. Simple as that. Um, you know, get yourself to a nice flat workspace if your panel's removable. If it's inside the vehicle, you know, go ahead and, and just knock it out there. I've got to drill straight through mine. I've got, like I said, the honeycomb portion here, so... Just gonna have to 
run straight through both portions there. Cutting the larger hole in the back side so I can access my uh, pan head screws there. And we're all set up. Alright, guys, time for the hardware. We're all set up, drilled in place. You're just going to grab all the nuts here, set them down inside the ram plate. Just like that. All right. Now, to hold these in place when you flip it over, you don't have to. You can you can hold them in there with your fingers, but it's a lot easier if you've got some tape laying around. Just uh, lay it over the top there. This way, your nuts don't want to fall out where they are. And go ahead and flip your piece. <clears throat> Here are my uh, my larger holes on the back side. So I'm going to grab my Phillips head screwdriver, which I left in the truck. Alright guys, that's about it. Go ahead, line your holes up, grab your Phillips head, pan head screws. Just start threading them up, hand tight at first. And uh, we'll get torqued down here and give it a couple draw tests and then uh, throw it back on the vehicle. Alright, looks good. Let's uh, meet you back at the truck. Alright guys, that was it for the standard ram mounted holster. Um, we're going to go ahead and slap together the tub claw real quick. Now, this is designed to be quick in, quick out, easy anywhere you go, rental car, you know, whatever have you. So, we're going to go ahead and take it in and uh, show you how to slap this thing on real quick. Alright, here it is in the box. Gonna rip it out it's going to come in two separate pieces you've got your arm the claw and the holster itself so we're just going to lock that ball into position you're going to keep it somewhat loose this way you've got some uh, mobility when you're moving it in and uh, we're going to get it underneath the seat we're going to mount it to the seat rail here so uh, let's take it in and uh, see if we can get you as, as close as we can it's it's a little bit of a tight spot down here but we'll try to show you as best we can all right here we are this is the rail we're going to want to mount it to. Make sure when you get it attached that you've got your uh, adjustment knob accessible to you. Alright, now once you've got the, to the claw torqued down, just go ahead and move your... Uh, your holster where you want it all right guys here it is we've got the tough claw set up um, trying to get you as best of a view as we can here so there you are all set up all right guys so that was the uh, standard ram mounted holster and our tough claw just a quick demonstration a little overview I'm um, gonna try to make more videos as soon as we can here been a little busy kind of running late in the shop trying to get all the orders out thank everybody for your patience you guys have been fantastic so uh you know please continue to be patient with us and, and we'll get it out as soon as we can for you but um that's it have a good one thank you